hi everyone uh, today i'm going to show you how to install a cumulus linux operating system in uh, uh, gns3 and you can do the labs testing and you can explore the features using that so first of all about cumulus linux it is an open source uh, networking operating system which can be installed in uh, uh, open switches if you want to see the hardware which it supports you can go to products and the cumulus linux hardware compatibility list here you will be able to see the hardware which it supports see even it supports in uh, uh, facebook switches even dell switches even hpe lenovo switches and if you want to segregate based on the port speed even you'll be able to see even it can support 100 gigs which is so you'll be able to see the comparable products from other vendors yeah now uh, let's start the installation so before that uh, we need, you need to download the image from the cumulus website so i'll show you how to download it So this Cumulus VX is the virtual instance. Uh, actually, we are not supposed to use it in production. We purely this is for the feature testing. So you can click on download now. Select the latest available and uh, download the KVM version. Actually, in GNS3, in two ways you can install. One is through the virtual box. Uh, you need to have virtualbox instance uh, running in your machine and you need you can map that instance to your gns3 other way is you can download the kmu image from this uh, cumulus site and install it directly into your gns3 so i'll be doing this uh, kvm uh, integrated setup so you can click on this download the file so once you download, you'll be getting a 1.5, uh, approximately 1.5 giga of a uh, file, and I'll show you how to install that. Open the GNS3. So you can create a new project called Cumulus. So yeah, go to edit, preferences, go to KMO VMs. So I already have a Cumulus instance running. Um, still I'll show you how to create one. Click on new, give a name. Uh, like you can even give the version name, version number or something right here. Cumulus two dot seven, three dot seven. Okay. This gives around thousand twenty four and make sure this is selected. Cumulus system x eighty six sixty four. the telnet you can select the new image and you need to point to the the place where you have downloaded the image so you need to go to the computer then point the file which you have downloaded this is the file i downloaded so i'll select it so it will ask you to copy to the default image directly click yes
See now it is copying that file, that 1.5 giga file to the directory. Click finish. Now we need to change certain default settings. Go to network. You can give how many net adapters you need. Okay, I'll give eight. And then we'll select the interface type as uh, Paravazilis Network IO. Click OK. And so now it is showing as a host kind of icon right if you this that is optional if you want to change the icon and category you can do it here so you can by default list in the in device category if you want to change this to switch you can change to switch and if you want to change the symbol you can click here Select Ethernet switch. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Now I'll apply the config. So now if you want to connect from your uh, local laptop to the instance which is running, so first we need to put a cloud here. then just add the cumulus instance here for connecting between these we can even put another just a normal ethernet switch it will be in unmanaged mode And in the cloud, I need to configure the tap interface as tab zero, which is already present in my laptop. I'll show that interface. I have a tap interface, tab zero, which is mapped to actually this bridge zero. It is having an IP of 10.10.10.99 so to check that connectivity is working fine so what I'll do before even configuring the cumulus you need to make sure this this my tap is working if I can put any host in it which is which will work properly I need to make sure for that I'll what I'll do I'll add a VPC here First, I'll connect Ethernet 0 to my cloud tab 0, then VPC ETH 0 to ETH 1. Switch on the VPC, open console. See, if you don't know to configure this very lightweight. PC instance running inside GNS3 so you can just put a question mark and get the help if you want to configure the IP see there is an argument command IP if you want to see that IP question mark enter see they'll exactly show what you need to enter here so you can give the IP format IP 10.10.1 slash 24 my gateway I'll give us ten dot two fifty four which is not there now so I'll make my cumulus as my gateway so for cumulus I'll give this IP okay 
now from the PC one instance I'll try to ping to my laptop directly yeah it is pinging that means this connectivity is fine so this is my local laptop instance from here also I'll try to ping yeah I'm able to ping so now we'll start configuring the cumulus so by default ETH0 will be the management interface of cumulus connect the ETH0 start the instance open the console it might take uh, at least two minutes to boot up so I'll pause the video now and I'll come back once uh, the device is ready.